Hey ladies, it's Amber Stevenson. So I've had a couple of you guys ask me what I put in my VIP invitations. So here it is. I buy these really cute pink envelopes at Hobby Lobby. They're not too expensive. Uh, they come in a pack of, I think, 25. And you use a 40% off coupon for Hobby Lobby and get them even cheaper. So it's well worth the uh, the couple bucks to add a little bit of fun in the mailbox for your um, potential guests. So um, I you know I also love my rubber stamps. So I've got VIP stamped on here uh, in gold, and then on the back I have it's a party stamped on there in turquoise, and then inside here. So inside here I've got always a mini catalog with my contact info on the back. And then I made this little insert to put in there just to make sure they're thinking about um, the upcoming Christmas season and that sort of thing. So there's that. And then um, I have the party invitation itself that I use red stamp for. Don't mind the post-its, I have to cover the address. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a great invitation because there's no background color so it doesn't use a crazy amount of ink. Um, it's bright, colorful, guests seem to really like it. Um, so there's that. And then this time of year, I am putting my hostess checklist, or I'm sorry, holiday checklist inside of basically everything. Um, so especially my VIP invitations, because this is gonna get them thinking ahead of time of who do they need to be shopping for. It gets them listing their favorite things um, and then I include a little thing here that just says, uh, bring this filled out for an extra raffle ticket. So that way when they get to the party, it's already filled out. I've already got their favorite things and their Santa's contact information. Um, and they are ready to rock and roll and start shopping for um, people that they need to purchase gifts for. There's a little um, side note on here about, you know, don't forget your hairstylist, gift exchange gifts, Sunday school teachers, um, that sort of thing, stocking stuff for ideas. Like, this encourages them to do a gift of kindness uh, for someone that might least expect it but would really appreciate the blessing. It's just a great little thing here. Um, but this just makes sure that they are in the Christmas shopping spirit. And I can tell you that since starting to use this in October, um, my sales as well as my bookings have gone up. Um, and I do think that part of that is because of this, because, you know, I've heard conversations of, well, I'll get this Christmas gift now, and then I'll get the rest at my party, and then I'll get some at, you know, so-and-so's party. So it really, it encourages them to book additional shows within their own friend group so that they can spread their purchasing out a little bit, but then it adds up for us and gets more bookings. So um, let me know what you guys are doing, and if you have any ideas, you know me, I love me some ideas. Um, otherwise, I hope this helps and gets you some, get you going for the holidays. All right, talk to you later.